Today, I'm going to show a really handy workflow that you can use with LandFX's Smart Spot Elevations in AutoCAD or FXCAD. We're taking a 2D spot elevation plan and turning it into 3D in SketchUp. To do this, you'll need a few extensions installed onto your SketchUp Pro in addition to LandFX, and they're listed here. Both of these are free. You'll find Topo Shaper in particular on SketchUcation.com, but I'll link to these below. First, follow our other videos and guides to create a grading plan with spot elevations. This is an extreme example, but it was actually really quick to make with the option to create spot elevations relative to existing spots along a line. Run a save as to a temporary file that you'll use to import to SketchUp. Run the command fx spot elevation z or z align to pop the spots up to elevation. Now delete everything except the actual elevated blocks. Those are all that we need. In SketchUp with the same unit set as your CAD file, import your DWG drawing using the SketchUp import tool. If this all inserted as a component, you probably have the SketchUp person component at the origin. Delete that and explode the topography until it's all individual components. Now edit one component. Delete the lines and draw a circle instead. Select the circle, open up your guide tools extension and choose C point at circle center. Now delete your circle. This created a single construction point, also known as a guide point, at the elevation of all of your spot elevations. Now explode all of these components so you only have the guide points, and finally make them all into a single component called surface. We can now use Topo Shaper with these guide points. Choose the option to create a terrain using Tri Mesh off of a point cloud. Play with your roundness and smoothing to get the right balance between accuracy and aesthetics. Then generate contours if you'd like to so you can send them back to CAD. Now you can use your land effects import tools to bring in your planting and site amenity design into a 3D world. Remember to delete the bottom of the skirt before importing so objects can pop up to the terrain surface. Now you can offer your clients a lot more value with your designs with just this quick and easy addition to the tools you're already using. Ooh.